Hi guys, please subscribe to the channel and like the video to support my project. And we are starting a new adventure. Today we are going to see the Auschwitz-Birkenau Museum. Auschwitz was the largest of the German Nazi concentration camps and extermination centers. Today there is a museum and also it's a big cemetery. Please also note that the uh, content of this video could be disturbing to some viewers. After the start of the uh, Second World War, Adolf Hitler implemented policies that became known as uh, the Final Solution. He wanted to not only easily Jews or in uh, Germany and countries annexed uh, by the Nazi, he became uh, convinced that uh, so-called uh, Jewish problem uh, would be solved only with elimination of every Jewish in his domain. Auschwitz was the largest camp founded by the Germans. It was a complex uh, consisting of a concentration camp, uh, an extremism camp and a forced uh, labor camp. The Auschwitz camp complex consisted of uh, these large camps Auschwitz I, Auschwitz II, Birkenau and Auschwitz III, Manowitz. The inscription above the entrance to the camp read Arbit Mach frei, which means walk leads to freedom. The reality was just the opposite. Labor became another form of genocide, which the Nazi called destruction by walk. Victims who escaped immediate death by being selected for a labor were systematically stripped of their individual traits. Their hair was shaved off and a registration number was tattooed on their left forearm. Men were required to wear torn stripped pants and jackets. Women wore work dresses. Both of them wore oversized work booth, sometimes clogs. Uh, there were no change of uh, clothes. Uh, they slept in the same robes in which they walked. Escape from Auschwitz was almost impossible. The concentration camp and death camp uh, were surrounded by leaf barbed wire fences. Numerous watchtowers uh, were manned by uh, sentries armed uh, with uh, machine guns and automatic rifles. Here we can see the map of Auschwitz complex. Here we can see the main sites, ghettos, uh, transit camps and prisons from uh, where the Jews and prisoners of other nationalities were deported to Auschwitz. The staircase is original. It has been preserved since uh, the existence of the camp here. The steps uh, took on uh, this shape because uh, the shoes of the prisoners were very heavy and uh, they were called them clocks. Every day they went up and down these stairs because uh, the steps have a squared such a shape. Here we can see several photos of when Jews uh, were transported to Auschwitz. Sorting took place immediately upon arrival. Uh, those who were fit for work uh, were selected. Uh, the rest uh, were sent uh, to their death. Personal belongings were taken away.
As we already know, the Auschwitz concentration camp with all its branches and satellite camps uh, was the largest of the concentration camps and extremism camps. It was a work camp and at the same time a center for the immediate extermination of Jews. And it was equipped with everything necessary for the mass murder and burning of uh, corpses. Destruction was carried by the gas uh, Cyclone B. Cyclone B was an insecticide used in Germany before Second World War. It was uh, used uh, to infect ships, barracks, warehouses, and more. It was uh, produced in crystal form, creating amethyst blue pellets. Uh, since these uh, Cyclone B pellets turned into a highly poisonous gas, hydrocyanic or prussic acid, when exposed to air. Uh, they were stored and transported in, in the hermetically sealed metal canisters. And in Auschwitz, uh, this uh, gas was uh, used uh, for killing. The process of selection of prisoners and their killing were carefully planned and well organized. The arrivals uh, were built in two columns. On uh, the one column, men and teenagers, on the other, women and children. Their personal belongings uh, were sent uh, to the barracks of uh, that part of the camp, uh, which was called Canada. The prisoners were sorted by their appearance. The life or death of a person depended on the whim of uh, the Germans. Forced to labor or a gas chamber. Doomed to death, uh, people were ordered to, to undress in order uh, supposedly to undergo disinfection. Then everyone uh, was uh, headed into a hermetically sealed room. The doors were locked and the house was uh, turned on. Here they can see the glasses and prothesis of the prisoners who were killed in the gas chambers. There is another room uh, where photography is not allowed. In this room, the hair of the dead prisoners is uh, displayed, about two tons of hair. Jewish prisoners serving the crematoria had to pull out uh, gold teeth uh, from the victim, cut off the hair of women. The bodies were burned in uh, ovens, uh, the bones were ground, uh, the ashes were scattered across the fields. And uh, here pans and pots that uh, belong to people brought to Auschwitz uh, for extermination. Shoes that belong to people deported to Auschwitz for extermination. Clothes and shoes of uh, small children. The suitcases uh, with uh, which uh, the prisoners arrived at the camp, many of them assigned uh, by their owners. During the day, several locals were held in the camp, and repeated selections were often carried out at them. Weakened and sick were put out of action and sent to the house chambers. The order in uh, the camp was cruel. It was uh, based on a system of punishment and torture. The prisoners did not eat much. They wore the same robe in winter and summer. Only a few of uh, the prisoners could survive. 
every day turned into a struggle for survival in unbearable conditions. The prisoners were kept in simple barracks without windows, not protected from heat or cold. In the first weeks of the camp existence, the prisoners' room looked like this. At first, the Nazi took photographs of newly arrived prisoners for registration. Later, they limited themselves uh, to a tattoo with a number. It's a typical interior of, of a washroom from 1941 to 1945. Before these facilities were installed, prisoners had only wells outside uh, the barracks uh, where they could wash. One toilet was for around 300 prisoners. The time of using the toilet was limited. It was allowed to, to use two times a day, in the morning and in the evening. The design on the walls were made by prisoners. This is a cold uh, block elder room. As well as uh, by members uh, by the SS, prisoners were also overseen by so-called prisoner functionaries who were appointed by the camp authorities. These uh, prisoners supervised fellow prisoners carrying out their work. Later, a typical interior of prisoners' room looked like this. Each barrack had about 36 wooden beds and the prisoners had to huddle five or six of them on the wooden plank. One barrack contained 500 people. Some pictures that show life in the camp. The wall of death. The condemned were led to, to the wall for execution, and Nazi shoot several thousand people here. In these uh, barracks, uh, they condemned to, to death. The older SS officer who was on duty in this room often executed the sentences of Gestapo summary court. In this room, the summary sessions of Gestapo court were held. The most frequent sentence was the death penalty by shooting at the death wall. These blocks uh, were designed for island prisoners creating the so-called infirmary. Among prisoners, it was often called uh, the waiting room for the crematorium. The lack of uh, basic uh, medications and medical care resulted in numerous deaths. SS doctors conducted selections among the sick people. They would uh, choose the weakest uh, prisoners, uh, not expected to recover quickly, and kill them by lethal injection or in the gas chamber. Also, SS uh, doctors conducted several medical and pharmacological experiments. Such experiments usually ending in the death of uh, permanent uh, disability of uh, the prisoners. The Nazi in charge of uh, the roll call received uh, reports on uh, the number of prisoners present. 
if any of them were missing, the remaining prisoners were punished by having to stand at uh, attention for a long period of time, regardless of weather conditions. To intimidate uh, the prisoners, the SS carried out uh, public hanging here. Commander Barracks uh, placed just in front of uh, the gas chamber and crematorium. Rudolf Hoss, commandant of the Auschwitz concentration camp, he was hanged at the entrance uh, to the Auschwitz crematorium. On 2nd April 1947, uh, the Polish Supreme National Tribunal sentenced him to death by hanging. In a letter sent uh, to the prosecutor, Hess admitted that he had caused terrible suffering to people and asked God and the Polish people for forgiveness. Here was a gas chamber. After the victims undressed, uh, they were taken into the gas chamber, locked it, and uh, let gas through the hole. After the gas chamber, the corpse were burned in the crematorium. Birkenau or Auschwitz too. This were largest number of people were killed. The railway gate of death is a kind visiting card of the camp. The construction of the camp uh, began in October 1941, when the Auschwitz-1 barracks uh, were overcrowded and could no longer cope uh, with the load. Hundreds of thousands of people of various nationalities were kept here in one-story wooden barracks. The number of victims of this camp amounted uh, to more than a million people. In 1942, Site 1 was started here. There were men's and women's camps. In 1943-44, Site 2, Gypsy Camp, Men's Quarantine Camp, Men's uh, Hospital Camp, Javish Family Camp, uh, Vare House, and a camp for Hungry Jews. In 1944, construction of the third uh, section began. Jewish women lived in the unfinished barracks in June and July 1944, whose names were not entered in the camp registration books. The false plot was never built. New prisoners arrived daily by train to Auschwitz II from all over occupied Europe. After cursory selection, uh, first of all, they taken into account health status, age, complexion, etc. And uh, then oral questionnaire data, family composition, education, profession, 
over those uh, who arrived there were divided into four groups. The first group brought in was sent to the house chambers. This group included all those deemed unfit for work. First of all, the sick, the elderly, the disabled, children, and those who arrived uh, with big health, average high or uh, built, uh, were also considered unfit. The second group of prisoners uh, was sent to slave labor in the industrial enterprises of various companies. From 1940 to 1945, about 405,000 prisoners were assigned uh, to the factories in the Auschwitz complex. Of uh, these, more than 340,000 died from diseases and uh, beaten or were executed. The, there is a known case when a German industrialist Oskar Schindler saved about 1,000 Jews by buying them to work in his factory. The third group, mostly twins and dwarfs, went to various medical experiments, in particular to Dr. Joseph Mengel, known as the Angel of Death. The fourth group, uh, predominantly women, were selected for personal use by Germans as servants and personal slaves, as well as uh, for sorting the personal property of uh, prisoners arriving at the camp. Auschwitz II had four gas chambers and four crematoria. When in the summer 1944, the crematorium 4 and crematorium 5 in Birkenau could not cope with the destruction of the bodies of those killed in the gas chambers. The bodies of the dead were buried in the ditch behind the crematorium 5. There were so many civilians of Jewish nationality brought to Birkenau from European countries that uh, the doomed sometimes uh, waited for 6-12 hours in the forest grove between crematorium 3 and crematorium 4, turned uh, to be destroyed in the house chambers. Auschwitz became a symbol of uh, brutality of the fascist regime and image of evil and horror. Millions of people died there. People were not only killed there, but also cruelly abused and subjected to terrible experiments. A museum complex has been located in Auschwitz for more than 70 years. Several hundred thousand tourists visit it every year. The history of this terrible place holds many terrible secrets. Lessons must be learned from history so that such a thing never happen again. Unfortunately, not everybody learned from history. Nothing can justify murder, just as nothing can justify indifference. We need to know history so that past troubles do not repeat again.